I uh, discovered um, a way to extend the precise location with an air tag. So, Do uh, tell. So I re- what I reported to you um, was accurate in the past, that it seems to go about 100 feet. But I was only getting about 30 feet um, for precise location. It's like, eh, okay. Um, here's a way to get more. Uh, so where I had the air tag before was in the center console. So okay. you're talking about an air tag in your car. Correct. Okay. All right. That makes sense. That's a place that would, that, that would be a natural place to put it in the glove box or the center console or something. Sure. Yeah. Um, here's the problem with that though, is that there's still stuff in the way. Now, even though my car is mostly plastic, um, there's still some metal. And there's also some liquids. And for the frequencies that we're talking about here, um, that's that dampens the signal or blocks the signal. I was like, you know what? I took my air tag, and you know where I put it, Dave? I put it on my rear view mirror. Oh, so now that's brilliant. So now there's and and a little adhesive. Right, of course, of course. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Right. Um Here's the thing now. There's nothing in the way except gla- – there's still some metal in the way, but much less than it being buried in the center of the car. Um, here's what happened is that I got precise location up to not 30, not 40, not 50, not 60, but 70 feet. Whoa. And I think you saw I posted a picture of it. I was like, wow, that's a, a big improvement. Here's another tip. If there's nothing – if you are between your phone and the air tag, that's also going to shorten the uh, precise range. Why, you may ask? Because you're a big bag of mostly water. Well, you're an ugly bag of mostly water <laughs> if, we're, if we're going by Star Trek's lingo. That's, that's right. That's, yeah, that's what they called us. Yeah. Um, so if you have nothing between your phone and the air tag, then you can get up to 70 feet. So, I like it.